to film because this is like a good MRI. Whoa! He doesn't like hey, fella. Yeah, I can I can understand why. It's Graham's last night. Yeah. What's up, guys? It's like the third day of week 32 at this point, I believe. <laughs> and we are headed out to do some cruising for Hognoses before shining tonight. So I will let you guys know if we see anything on this endeavor. And if not, I'll probably check in once we start headed towards the cuts we're going to shine. It's a, it's a funny way to say stuff. All right, guys, here's our first snake of the night. This cute little black tail rattlesnake, probably a baby from last <laughs> year. But always good to see these guys, see a lot of them but they're always appreciated. So we're gonna get a couple quick photos of this little guy and let him keep crawling around in his talus. Wait, I can do it. All right, guys, we just cruised our first day. I'm being chased. <laughs> That's a big Emory eye, dude. <laughs> Settle down. <laughs> he got me good. I'm sorry for pulling. That's a big Great Plains rat snake. <laughs> oh, are you filming? Yeah. I'm so sorry. No, you're good. All right, we're gonna get this guy to the road and keep cruising. All right, guys, we have found our first really cool snake of the night. We stopped to shine a cut right here on our way to our ultimate destination for the night, and luckily we did. Anyways, beautiful little New Mexico milk snake, Graham's lifer, um, my third of the year, I think, but absolutely awesome little female, and a new area for me, I think only my second in this county. Anyways, we're going to photograph this girl and keep moving. <laughs> Beautiful milk snake. How that makes I, the night. How did my first milk come from West Texas this year, living in Colorado, where someone Is your found, first milk of the year? Yeah, I haven't found one yet. All right, guys, here is an interesting find. This is not the best way to find a Splendida, but this guy has been hit by a car but is still very much alive to the point that he might actually be able to survive this. So we're gonna grab him and hold him overnight and see if he survives. And if not, that's unfortunate. But if he does survive, that'd be awesome. A lot of times these big snakes like this can kind of shrug off getting hit by a car. Uh, he's acting a little bit unusual for sure, but as long as there's no really deep down internal organ damage, he might just be a little shaken up. So we're gonna grab this guy and keep cruising. He's flicking his tongue. All right, guys, here's a little bit of an update video on this guy. He's actually moving around freely now, flicking his tongue. He doesn't look 100%, obviously, but as you can see, he's crawling. And uh, really, the only thing that seems to be really badly damaged is his lower jaw. You can see his mouth's kind of stuck open, which is not funny, but it's definitely weird. But... We are going to hold this guy at least overnight and see how he's doing in the morning. He's doing a little bit of bobbing back and forth. That's natural behavior. But Good looking snake. Shame he got hit by a car. But hopefully he'll pull through. Alright guys, our next snake of the night. This nicely colored little Aatrox just sitting here soaking up some warmth a little bit down the road from the Desert King snake. He is definitely she. Look at that little tail. Yeah. She has taken advantage of this warm road on this kind of cool night. We're down here in the southern Big Bend region where it's not uncommon to have temperatures above 90 degrees at midnight. And it's about 79, maybe around 80 now. So we're going to get this girl out of the road and keep moving. All right, guys, check this little guy out that I just found. This is a nice looking example of the Texas banded gecko. Pretty common down here where we're at right now in the southern Big Bend region. But always welcome find. I'm going to get a couple quick photos of this guy and let him go back on the rock cut. Yeah, I don't know where he thinks he's going. He's climbing right up Graham's he's, arm. He's a pal, dude. Not that. It's a stick bug, isn't it? Where? He's coming down the front side now. Like right by your neck. There you go. It's coming. That's interesting. Here's another species of gecko we have out here. Oh, he went down in this hole. This is a Mediterranean gecko not a native species to this area not a very good look at him but there you go these guys are actually non-native and you can find them on the cuts here with two other species of gecko that are native so that's kind of weird all right guys here's the next snake of the night a really nice looking night snake here on the cut that uh steven and graham just found this guy has a really good looking pattern on him it's 
oddly enough, haven't seen too many of these guys lately. But pretty good sign that these guys are out moving right now. Saw a DOR earlier, but we are going to photograph this guy and let him go real quick. All right, guys, here is our second night snake of the night. Right here, not too far past the first. This one looks pretty big, but this is in C2, so I'm going to grab him real quick and we'll get a better look at him. Yeah, dude, that goes, thing is large. Yeah, he goes nice and into that bush. All right, whenever you're ready. Come here, fella. He's coming out the back. Oh, no. <laughs> that's a big, nice snake. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably the biggest That's basically I've ever a seen. liar snake, dude. <laughs> Here's another look at this second night, snake of the night, crawling on the cut. I would have had a little heart attack if I saw that thing crawling on the cut like that, I think. Yeah. Alright guys, we just cruised a gecko. Wow. Dude, what the heck? That's a rabid girl too. That's really strange. Yeah. That is a big Texas banded gecko. Look at that thick tail. Interrupting June bug says why? Oh no, those are blister beetles. That's not. That's a little harmless boy. Oh, the, well, the one that was just on my face was. That is. That is so good. Look at the size of that thing. That's like almost the size of a typical retic. All right, guys. What we have here is one of the coolest species of reptile we have here in West Texas: the reticulated gecko. These guys are closely related to the banded geckos that are native that you guys saw earlier tonight. This is our third species of gecko for the night, which is kind of ridiculous, but really awesome little animals. These guys are one of the largest native species of geckos that we have in North America. And they're just absolutely alien looking, as you can see. He's got this really kind of nasty looking shade of purple as his main background color <laughs> with these really cool looking faded spots. But these guys are about Three or four times as big as the normal Texas banded gecko. Put my hand down next to him so you can see just how big this guy is. They're a little bit smaller than your average size leopard gecko. So these guys are really big for a native species of gecko and always one of my favorite things to see out here and something Graham was really hoping to see tonight on his last night in West Texas. So mm -hmm. freaking awesome. We're gonna get some more footage and let him go. What an awesome group of lizards. Anyways, we're going to let this guy go and keep harping and see what else we can find. Dude, that is such a tiny night snake. That's ridiculous, dude. What does that thing even eat? It can't be eating lizards. There's no, like, baby skinks down here, even. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I didn't see him either because I was looking for a night snake, not a worm. Holy crap. That is like it's doing that? right now. Was it on the crawl when you spotted it? Yeah. That's ridiculous, dude. Didn't know what it was. If you can spot that, you can spot a blind snake. Alright guys, Graham and Steven have just found our second reticulated gecko of the night. Dude, yeah, that one's nice. That's ridiculous looking. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. He's so nasty. All right, well, we're just gonna leave this second reticulated gecko right here where we found him. Absolutely beautiful. Such awesome lizards. And he's got a complete tail. All right, guys, so just down the rock cut from the big reticulated gecko here, we found this nice little Texas banded gecko. Just so you guys can see the difference in the size. And this is a pretty typically sized banded gecko here versus a smaller sized reticulated gecko. So these guys definitely get much bigger. You can kind of see the physical differences between the two. But anyways, pretty cool comparison shot of these two. Uh, we are going to get a couple quick photos of each one and let them go right here where we found them. Look at this big girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. That is a big trail. Oh. Is that your hole? No. All right, guys, I figured I'd run a little update on this Desert King snake that was hit by a car last night. He's uh, not looking 100%, obviously, but his jaw is actually settled back into place a little bit. 
and it's no longer just dangling open and I don't want to mess with them too much and cause them to re-agitate it or whatever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him another day and see what happens. Then I'm going to try to offer him some water and maybe even try to feed him and see how he does with that. But I'm optimistic about how he's looking right now. Usually if snakes survive 24 hours, um, they have a pretty good chance of making it, especially these big guys that get hit in the head. Uh, a lot of times they're just shaken up and they can kind of shrug it off. So we'll see how this goes. Um, see if I can give you a better look. Oh, his mouth's open now. That's not what we want, but I'm going to put him back in his box for now. Anyways, I'm going to put him back in his box for now and I'm going to continue to monitor him over the next couple days. Um, I'll give you guys a little updates in the videos. So.